Hey there Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. Um, welcome to your December uh, 2020 reading. I'm just going to pull you all a few cards here and let's just get started. For those that may be unfamiliar, uh, Aquarius, you are an air sign. Ruling planets are Uranus and Saturn. So let's just get to it. Uh, thank you all so very much for your loving comments. And I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate the support. All right, so let's see here. What's love got to do with it? Um, or any area of your life, really. All right, very first card that we have uh, is going to be pretty much the significant one for the reading here. All right, it says new love right there. All right, also to on the bottom, the rest of it says embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. All right, we're going to get into it. It's just like, wait a second, Carol. She's already wrong right off the bat. Wait, all right. Embrace the new opportunity of love that is here, period. Uh, this may pertain to work opportunities as well or spiritual growth. So that is wonderful. That is awesome. And also, too, I'm feeling like, um, all right, enough's enough here been doing the the work, the the self-love, you know, spiritual growth. When's the right one going to come along, okay? Um, how many times do I have to wish upon a star? You know, uh, possibly two. And again, you're all in different areas of your life. Some of you could be single. Some of you possibly could be in that should I stay, should I go relationship or already maybe coupled up with somebody right there just kind of checking on in. All right, so that's awesome. That's great. Uh, if you are uh, already in a committed relationship and no worries, you are working on your spiritual growth, you know, possibly thinking about going back to school. Um, you're never too old to go back to school. Yeah, I know all about that. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else do we have here for you work opportunities as well. Maybe you already have a job, but because of everything that's going on and we're in interesting times, just like, you know what, that's it. I'm having to think outside the box here. Um, and Aquarians, that's what I love about you because that's what you do. You're fierce, you're fabulous, you're not like everybody else. And nobody's going to tell you what to do. Um, if anything, and if anyone gets you going, it's just like, you're going to tell someone how to go or, or where to go and how to get there real quick. All right. Um, please. So let's see what else here. People are so jealous of, um, your 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 good looks whether you feel gorgeous or handsome or not you know uh pe people notice i mean that's that's air signs for you you know uh maybe unpredictable because you don't like to be bore bored or boring or or basic and that's just not in your vocabulary really <laughs> and it's just like as soon as you maybe see that energy it's just like okay you know what i'm out the door and however I feel like for some of you, um, you're going to be getting a new love that's coming in. Everything you wish for here, you know, and you may be actually meeting somebody that's a little bit more analytical, a bit more serious, not saying that you're not serious, Aquarius, because let me tell you something. You know how many Aquarians I know <laughs> out there um, that are absolutely fabulous and they are royalty. And it's just like this, you know, people normally go to them for advice or, you know, um, money. All right. You know, it's just like, all right, we've already gone over this particular situation for the past few months on how to maybe handle your money. And I actually was trying to help you out by doing that for free. And now you're coming back to me a month later in the same position and you're broke again, asking me for money. But okay. But you're going to, you're going to give that speech and it's kind of well-deserved. I'm sorry. Not sorry, <laughs> that's, that's kind of, you know, and it's just like, you want to help people and you do. However, um, you know, be mindful that people try to take advantage of that. And I don't even have to tell you to be mindful because that would be just like, I'm not, it's just like, that's an insult. Like you're very smart. You know what I'm saying? Um, new love too. Aquarius, uh, it's just like, you know. People come to you because they need you. We need our Aquarians out there, all right? First one to go into a party and, um, you know, have to answer questions later when somebody gets upset because new love found you at the, the party or the gathering or even the, 
even if you can't get out there, you know, maybe over websites or something like that, because maybe you decided to, you know, try out a new spiritual group or get into like a class or something, you draw people to you. Air signs do that, all right? The consensus claim, again, you do not have to listen to um, me or these cards, you know, um, if you get something out of it, great. And if there's something that really like burns and you just, <laughs> it, it, it's just like, I don't like what she's saying. However, stuff that she's saying is, is coming through. You can change that. It's your life. It's your destiny. You are the captain of your own ship here. So anyways, yeah, the type of person to go out somewhere, better your life, you know, and it's just like, maybe I should reel it back in because I mean, and you shouldn't have to do things like that as long as like you're happy, healthy and abundant. However, it's just like, you know, you're so fabulous. Uh, I can't even use that word enough and I'm sorry if it's getting annoying here. However, um, you're a shooting star. You know, you weren't meant to, um, you, you're meant for uh, center stage there and that can be very scary for a lot of you too out there. It's like, I already know Carolyn implementing it though is a completely different story. All right. Um, so people, uh, sometimes negative energies are drawn in the brighter we shine, you know, that's when the, you know, the clout chasing comes in or the, Oh, I, I know I treat you like garbage, but I see that you know, um, I was totally talking down to you and, and possibly like verbally abusing you, physically abusing you, any uh, abuse level to you. But I see that you have something that I want now. So I'm going to pretend to be nice. It's like a snake leg type of thing. All right. Also to, um, and you're just like, okay, what now? However, you're not, you're not, um, foolish. Okay. And that's where it's just like, you have the upper hand when it comes to that. So yeah, you'd be the first one to show up to a party, change the music, get everyone going. Uh, it's like, you know, never find a dance floor empty. Right. So if you go to a place ever, uh, or have in the past, whatever, you know how to turn things up there and you have that wonderful energy about you air sign air sign uh possibly aquarius aquarius you know you could be uh meeting you know maybe aquarius libra Ooh, oh my gosh feel free to leave comments below too um if you are in an Aqu comments for anything or or questions or whatever you know uh aquarius libra i yeah, I've actually, actually, you know what? I have seen them argue before and stuff like that. And boy, does it hit the fan. So also to uh, Aquarius Gemini. So they seem to complement each other very well. However, when you get into arguments, it's just like, all right, all right, I'm meditating. I'm trying to become my best self here. And I'm going to try to get rid of the word trying. However, I'm about to take the claws out. I'm not going to try to take the claws out. I'm going to and just like, okay, composure, <laughs> you know, uh, so people are normally like, you took my man, you took my woman. It's just like new love, new love right there. And it's just like, I'm sorry, you know, I'm trying to date other people or I'm already in a very happy, healthy, successful relationship. What's the problem here? <laughs> you know, um, but this is new love for a lot of you out there. Loving yourself, taking care of yourself. And it's just like, I don't want to hear those girl. And like, hello. Uh, yeah. Yeah somebody new is literally going to be coming in or a newfound relationship. Like, you know what? Maybe you had a dream about somebody and it's just like, I never really looked at them that way. But in the dream, uh, it brought this realization that, you know, maybe we should be together. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Why do you think we're watching these readings to try to get some clarification, try to figure things out. All right. Um, and it's just like you, for some of you out there, uh, this new love, if you will, it's going to be a friend that uh, you never thought you would look at them like that if you are not in a relationship and looking for new love. <laughs> or it's going to one of these events, whether it's online or in person or, you know, just a walk to like the store or whatever. And um, you run into somebody, you know, fabulous and it's just like, Carolyn, I'm okay with being single. 
big shout out to um, the ones. And it's just like, all right, you can handle being sig uh, single. Not saying that you deserve to be single. Absolutely not. Now, wait a second here. Wait a second here. Uh, you have what it takes because you do love yourself and you're not going to settle for less. So that's why you have no problem being single. It's not because you don't have your choices out there, honey. You've got um, <laughs> plenty of choices. And if anyone ever says, oh, Aquarius, they can't land or, or get with that person or, or they're just, you know, miserable. So nobody wants to date them. Um, <laughs> I beg to differ on that one. They have plenty of choices and it's just like, okay, I don't have time, you know. <laughs> they choose to be single and um, that's what makes them so mysterious. That's what makes them, you know, so um, people want to attain you. I'm getting that type of energy here. Let's look a little bit further on in to uh, maybe signs to be possibly mindful of or on the lookout for. Oh, yeah, but somebody's coming in here being like, because you showed up at this event, um, yeah, you kind of stole my man, stole my woman, and you're like, that's not what I was there to do. However, it's not a shock. <laughs> okay, um, could be it, and, and maybe you literally, you're just a genuinely good person, you know, and if people get you angry or aggravated, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, so that brings us to these next two cards that just jumped out. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. So some of you may want to be looking out for a possible Earth sign, maybe meeting somebody uh, new uh, when you're looking for Earth sign, maybe Taurus, maybe Capricorn, possibly Virgo. All right. They might help you keep you grounded a little bit. You know, some of you out there that may already be in a relationship with an Earth sign, it's just like... And I'm not saying Aquarians are like careless or they just go out and they're reckless because um, they do have their stuff together. They've got their chips together. They've got their coins stacked, you know, it, hence the uh, the big uh, pentacle right there. All right. And also, too, we have the uh, peacock in the background here. And it's like you don't even necessarily have to flex or show off your money. However, you can't help it. Um, and it's not you showing it off. It's like, let's, for example, you invite somebody over to your house. Like, what were they expecting when they'd show up? Like some mess or some, <laughs> and everyone does go through hard times. Yes, I do get it. However, even when aquariums go through tougher times, they still, it's glamorous. I don't know how to explain it. And people will come over and they'll just be like, oh, wow, you, you actually do have a nice place. And it's just like, well, what were you expecting? <laughs> Please, you know? And um, so this is great. This is wonderful too. Also, um, for some of you out there that have made investments, um, and it's just like, I do, I'm, I'd do. i love to get into a relationship, Carolyn. Uh, however, I'm afraid to invest my all into that because I've been taken to the cleaners before by an ex. You know, uh, some of you may be watching and it's just like, um, that's actually what I'm here for, Carolyn, is because I think I, this person may be using me. Could be very well in some cases. However, you do have these security um, and finances and stuff like that. You know, um, if you have not met that, you know, criteria yet, you will be achieving that goal. All right, just keep pushing forward. And um, also too, I've never noticed this before, but in the background here, we have the sign of a uh, chakra. All right, one of the symbols there on the floor. So that is going to be working with your um, heart chakra. Uh, that would be a green color, all right. Um, and so maybe lighting a green candle, you know, uh, as long as you wash it. <laughs> It's like, honey, please, these haters or whatever, they think they are pulling something, but they're really not. And you're being classy about it is what I absolutely love. And, uh, you know, so maybe, uh, you know, working with uh, rose quartz, maybe a heart-shaped one, also one, uh, two, one in each hand, uh, possibly working with that. Self-love and because you love yourself. And people may be like, well, you live in a fantasy world. You know, um... It's your reality. Your reality is different from another person's reality. And you're not dumb enough to let somebody take that. You are open to working with somebody that is good. It's like teamwork, you know. 
And it's just like, I want that love. I don't want it to get boring and dull. And you have, you know, your checklists, all right? And there's nothing wrong with that at all. You're going to be getting your wish, all right? Um, also, too, we have the Magician card right there. I apologize about the lighting. Uh, so this is that manifesting here. So you're working with very wise wisdom, also working with Archangel Metatron um, as well. And uh, this is too, it, it's just like what well, we have wands and we have swords here, pentacles again. So again, you could be looking or wanting to be on the lookout for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, when it comes to these uh, particular signs right here. All right, also to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, also to other air signs, Aquarius, 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 uh, Libra, and Gemini as well. So this is creating your reality. This is uh, also you're manifesting things and people are like, how did you do that? How did you get your way out of it? And can you just Give me the quick answer so we can figure this out so I don't have to do the work. And that's the problem. People don't want to do uh, the work when it comes to relationships or, or anything, you know. And there's nothing wrong with, you know. Uh... Some of you here, I'm just going to be playing it right out honest, you know. I'm not going to lie to any of you on here. I feel like somebody's trying to put likes in... We're going to transmute that. We are in the frost full moon as I'm doing this reading. All right, so that's going to be bringing on the winter time. All right, so when we're looking at gardening and stuff like that, uh, this is coming to uh, fruition here. Oh, yeah, somebody's totally stalking you, I'm sure. <laughs> So, uh, yes, this is you manifesting your reality and people are very threatened by that. How'd you do that? And they get so upset with you or they're so like they got they're, they're in their feelings for whatever reason. So they're going to um, not really get educated and be like, I'm going into, you know, I, I'm going to cast a spell or this or that. And that's totally not disrespecting anyone out there that does you can practice or believe in whatever it is you want. All right. However, when you do it uneducated and you're putting that bad out there, it'll come right back. Remember that old saying there? It's not even an old saying. Uh, you know, I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks back to you. <laughs> so somebody out there is practicing possibly something that they have no idea what they're doing. And half the time, and unfortunately, I've run into this a lot, I'm going to curse you or I'm going to put this and that towards you. It normally, um, you, you don't want to send that vibe out there, all right? Even when people, it's just like, I, I feel like people are, are bad and they deserve it. Hand it over. Don't take that because it will just come back to you, all right? Um, so... This is wonderful, and I'm not saying that that's happening to you, but if you feel like somebody has done that to you, um, it's lifted. Okay? Happy holidays. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all later.